an extraordinary moment. India has made history by becoming the first nation to land near the moon's south pole. India has done it. It has become now the fourth country to land a spacecraft on the moon. It was a tense final six minutes. In the wake of Chandrayaan 3's successful moon landing, ISRO's chief S. Somnath dropped another exciting bombshell, Aditya L1. India's premier space observatory focused on the sun is primed for its launch come early September. Just imagine, while we bask in the sun's glow on Earth, this observatory will be beaming back groundbreaking insights from a halo orbit around L1, a gravitational vantage point about 1.5 million kilometers from us. If the mission is successful, Aditya L1 will have an uninterrupted gaze at the gigantic ball of fire. Why the sun, you ask? As our cosmic lighthouse, the sun influences the very evolution and stability of our solar system. ISRO's newest marvel will be launched using the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle XL with seven payloads on board. Aditya L1 will study the sun's corona, sun's photosphere, chromosphere, solar emissions, solar winds and flares, and coronal mass ejections, and will carry out round-the-clock imaging of the sun. But Aditya's mission isn't just about studying the sun. It's a testimony to India's space and scientific prowess, with many of its components crafted indigenously, symbolizing both challenges and triumphs. So, as Aditya L1 embarks on its solar odyssey, it doesn't just carry instruments, it carries a nation's aspirations.